Today we're going to look at aids to navigation. Now lighthouses, lightships, beacons, buoys, cardinal marks, isolated danger marks, special marks, in fact any sort of mark that a sailor can navigate by is an aid to navigation. There are six types of navigation buoy or beacon. Safe water marks, lateral marks, cardinal marks, isolated danger marks, special marks and emergency wreck marking buoys. And then we have lighthouses and lightships and sector lights. In this video we'll look at safe water marks, lateral marks and special marks. Lateral marks. Now all lights and marks around the world come under the jurisdiction of the International Association of Lighthouse Authorities, IALA for short and in 1980 they agreed to reduce the number of systems of voyage around the world from nearly 30 to just two. IALA System A for Europe, Africa, Middle East, Asia, Australia and New Zealand where port hand markers are coloured red and have red lights and IALA System B for North America, Central America, South America, the Philippines, Japan and Korea where the port hand marker is coloured green and has a green light and all marks within the IALA system are distinguished by their shape, colour, top mark and light. As one comes off passage and approaches a port, the first buoy one comes to is a safe water mark, also known as a fairway buoy. This is the start of the lateral voyage and tells us that we will have safe water here. We can pass this buoy on either side, but by tradition we keep it to port so that if we're entering or leaving port, we will run down the right-hand side of the mark channel. The safe water mark is striped red and white with a red ball as a top mark and can be shown on a chart as a tall spar or a roundish buoy, depending on what type it is. Here's the safe water mark about a mile and a half off the start of the needles channel. If the buoy has a light, it'll be shown on the chart with a magenta teardrop and the light sequence will be given. Safe water marks always have one of four light configurations. They will either give one long flash, or they will be occulting, or they will be isophase, or they will signal the Morse letter A. So what do these terms mean? Let's have a look at the various ways that a light can show itself. There are five options. A light can be fixed, where it's on the whole time, flashing, where it's off, more than it's on, occulting, where it's on more than it's off, isophase, where it's on for the same amount of time that it's off, and alternating, where two different colours of light are alternating with each other. These will be written on the chart and in almanacs as F dot for fixed, FL dot for flashing, OC dot for occulting, ISO dot for isophase, and AL dot for alternating. And the sequence is depicted as follows. Fixed, on all the time. Flashing, off more than it's on. Occulting, on more than it's off. Isophase, on as much as it's off. And alternating, alternating colours. A long flash would be depicted like this. So, the safe water mark will either have one long flash every 10 seconds, a long flash being two or more seconds, or it can be occulting, that is on more than it's off during the sequence, isophase, on as much as it's off, or it can signal Morse A, which is dit da, or one short, one long, so one short flash and one long flash. And the sequence starts from the moment the light goes on. So if we have one long flash every 10 seconds, we start counting the minute we see the light. Here's the Needles Channel safe watermark, which has one long flash every 10 seconds. And we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. There we go, works. And that's now the start of the next sequence. One long flash every 10 seconds. This light also has an eerie whistle, handy in fog, but rather sinister otherwise, I think. It's a clever system and makes use of the fact that this type of buoy is designed to bounce up and down with the waves rather than to sway from side to side. So there's a pipe inside with a slot like an organ pipe. And as the buoy sinks, so the water forces the air out through this slot, 
to make the whistle sound or eerie honking. And as the boy rises, so air is sucked in through this slot, again making the sound. So that's a long flash. And if the light configuration was listed as occulting, we'd know that the light was going to be on more than it was off. So if the sequence was every five seconds, we'd know that the light would probably be on for three seconds and off for two seconds. And when we have an isophase light, which is on as much as it's off, if we are told that the sequence lasts for four seconds, then we can expect the light to be on for two seconds and off for two seconds. Now we've found the safe watermark, the next thing we're going to come across are the lateral buoys for port and starboard. These mark the sides of the channel, flat-topped for port and conical for starboard. We'll run down the right-hand side of the channel and the port marker will be over on the left-hand side of the channel on our port side and the starboard marker will be on our starboard side. All buoyage is arranged for entry into port. When you exit port, it is naturally reversed. You'll have the port hand marker on your starboard side. The general direction of buoyage is always shown on the chart with a magenta arrow with two circles. And if there could be any confusion about the direction, for example between two islands, a direction of buoyage symbol will be shown on the chart. So we come to the port hand marker. It will be flat topped and in Ayala Region A, us, it will be coloured red. It could even be a red upturned bucket on a pole. Here though, East Leap is rather more sophisticated, having a light and a bell. And the light configuration could be anything. Here's southwest shingles flashing once every two and a half seconds. And here's a quick red on the right hand side of the picture. There are lots of other things going on here as well, but we'll look at them later. Quick, by the way, is a rate of about 60 flashes a minute. Of course, if you have a run of lateral buoys of the same type, such as port, then each one will have a different light configuration so you can tell them apart. For example, up the Needles Channel, we start with Southwest Shingles, which flashes once every two and a half seconds. Then we have Shingles Elbow at two every five seconds, and then Mid Shingles at three every ten seconds. And just to balance things up a bit, here's a starboard hand marker. Again, quick flashing. Now there's one other refinement to port and starboard hand markers, and that is when there is the chance to go down a channel to port of the port hand marker, or to starboard of the starboard hand marker. And the marker needs to recognise this fact, but say that the preferred channel is to port or to starboard of me. Here's a port hand marker, and you'll see that it has a green stripe around its middle. It's telling us that we can go to port of it, but the preferred channel is to starboard. As it happens, here, by going to port of this mark, you'll end up in Hamble Point Marina or mixed up with the moorings further up near Port Hamble. And if you want to go up the Hamble River unimpeded, you need to go to starboard of this mark. Here's another instance in Bilbao. This is a starboard hand mark, and obviously some people will want to go into the marina to starboard of it. But the preferred channel for those who don't want the marina is to port of it, hence the red stripe around its middle. At night, these lights have a very specific light configuration. They will flash two plus one, like this. Always take a moment to make sure you have followed a light through a couple of sequences to make sure you get the sequence right. It would be easy to see two flashes and turn away thinking this was an ordinary port hand marker and miss the plus one telling you that the preferred channel is to starboard of it. While we're on lateral marks, we also have lights that tell us that a pontoon is attached to the land. Two fixed lights, one above the other vertically, written as 2F.R, brackets vert, close brackets, for a pontoon attached to the land on the port side, or 2F.G, brackets vert, close brackets, for one on the starboard side. And finally, in this video, let's have a look at special marks. Special marks may mark a swimming area, or a water skiing area, or they may be laid as racing buoys. The chart or the almanac will tell you what they denote. They're always yellow, and if they have a top mark, some don't, it'll be a yellow X. If they are lit, signified on the chart by a magenta teardrop, then the light will be yellow, and it will be any configuration that cannot be confused with a cardinal mark. Here's a racing buoy by day, sponsored by Raymarine and here's that same boy at night. And the light configuration shown on the chart is fl.y.4s, 
so it should flash yellow once every four seconds. And that is what it's doing. One final thing. What's the difference between a buoy and a beacon? When the mark has its post stuck in the ground, fixed, we refer to the mark as a beacon, and it will be shown in the vertical position on a chart. When the mark is floating, it's referred to as a buoy, and it will be shown on the chart just leaning to the right. That's worth knowing. I realise that there's quite a bit of and finally in this video, but if you could bear with me, there's one extra thing I want to mention, and that is the classification of lights. Now we know that a light can show itself in one of five ways, fixed, flashing, occulting, isophase and alternating. But within that, there is further detail to add. And this is really for yacht masters, although I have to say that this is still necessary for day skippers. I mean, what is there about the sequence of a light that you do not want to understand? When you read on the chart what the sequence is, you should know what you will see. This is the problem with splitting navigation into two levels. There really is only one level, and that is the level where you understand everything. The fact is that slap bang in the middle of the Solent, one of our most popular sailing areas, is a buoy that has an unusual light sequence, Castle Point. We'll come back to him in a moment. So the way that a light shows itself can be further broken down by the frequency and pattern of the light, whether it shows itself in groups or composite groups. The idea being that having read the light sequence from the chart, you'll be able to identify exactly which light you are seeing. This is important in confined waters where there will be many navigational lights and they need to be different. You can find the list of light sequences in the book Admiralty Chart 5011, which is the code for all things you'll find on an Admiralty chart. Fixed is straightforward. That's on all the time. But occulting can be single occulting, group occulting, composite group occulting. Flashing can be single flashing, group flashing, composite group flashing, or a long flash. Then the flash can be quick, which is 50 or 60 flashes a minute, or very quick, which is 100 or 120 flashes a minute, or ultra quick, 240 or 300 flashes. And then we have interrupted flashing, where it will flash for a period, and then there will be a dark period for about two seconds in the sequence. So let's just have a look at a couple of them. Here is Bourne Gap, port hand marker, marking the port hand edge of the Thorn Channel. His sequence is shown as FL.R.3S, meaning that he will flash red once every three seconds. And that's what he does. Up here we have another port hand marker, Blackjack. The sequence is written FL, brackets 2, close brackets, R.4S, and he flashes a group of two, if two can be a group, red flashes every four seconds. And here again, another port hand marker. This is our castle point, and he flashes interrupted quick. The sequence is written IQ.R.10S, and he will quick flash probably about 11 flashes, and then there will be a gap of about two seconds before the sequence repeats. So there you are. That's a bit more detail than you probably imagined. Anyway, check your chart 5011 for details of all the light sequences.